second in the British Championships, indoors and out hat, and she goes in lane two. Some good athletes in this one, though. Look out in particular for Elena Berings, the 28-year-old Belgian, beside her, European indoor champion back in 2009, when she was just 22 years old, a former European junior champion, too, Berings. She is the fastest in the race. Hatton to the right of picture. There is Berings. 28 years old, should be at the height of her power. She's run 7.95 this winter, 7.92, her lifetime best. And uh, that makes it European number two. She's seen Talai win that second heat. There's Kudelova, Lucy Kudelova of the Czech Republic being introduced to the crowd, which is growing all the time. She goes in lane six, Hatton in two, Berings in three, Nadina Visser of the Netherlands in four, more of her in a minute, Avancic of Croatia in five, Kudelova of the Czech Republic in six, Mokrasova of Slovakia goes in seven. Mokrasova, there the camera focusing on her, but she's the slowest in the race by a big margin. And Tomic of Slovenia it goes in lane eight. On your mark. Well, I mentioned Visser of the Netherlands in lane three in that familiar orange strip. Third from left as you look at them now from behind. She's uh, just 20 years old and she is some competitor. She's a heptathlete, third in the World Juniors last year behind more behind uh, Katrina Johnson-Thompson in Eugene. She's only 20. Bronze medalist in the 100 metre hurdles at those World Junior Championships. So she will be one of those young ladies who will be up alongside Morgan Lake and Johnson-Thompson in years to come in the heptathlon. But she's specialising here. Away first time, very good start from Bering, second to right. Bering's leading the moment, coming back at a Lucy Hatton. Hatton having a wonderful run, and that's a fantastic performance for Hatton. 7.96, and Hatton has just run a huge personal best. There she is, top of picture, bouncing around, absolutely fired up for this. And well, she might be, I bet she can't believe it. 7.96 for the young Briton. It's a big, big personal best. The first time ever under eight seconds. And by some margin, she'd already run 8.02 this winter. And uh, only seventh in the Birmingham Grand Prix. But that experience helps. It counts. Tattoos and all, she's just had a fabulous run. Well, she improved, didn't she, in Malmo? We were very impressed with her there lifetime best in both the heat and the final and now she's gone below eight seconds so lucy hatton certainly putting herself right in medal contention it's early days of course she's now got to, not only got to maintain this but try and improve it she's very explosive isn't she excellent sprinter and you could see as soon as she got over that last hurdle she sensed that was it great performance beating a former european indoor champion I mean, she is giving the differences we have to remember is that both of the previous heats were won in 804. Lucy's just uh, run, Lucy Hatton's just run oh, two thirds of a metre quicker with 796, but she's giving 100% there. She's, and I don't blame her. She's almost treated that one like a final, Martin, but I think that's exactly the right attitude when you're uh, just 20 years old and 